This gospel from today, it's really difficult and it's really hard. So maybe we will not touch it and we will talk about the second reading. <laughs> Do you think it's a good idea? I think it's not. But brothers and sisters, so many times it's happened to us that we will find some passage from the Bible and we'll think, hmm, it's not for me. Maybe I will go to the part when Jesus is kind and merciful. But we have to talk about this gospel. It's really hard, you know, because uh, I will call this gospel, and I'm always calling this gospel, this is the gospel of losers. Give your another cheek. Give everything to people you don't know, not waiting that they will give you back. Forgive your oppressors. No, it's not easy. This is a gospel of losers. But brothers and sisters, first we have to ask ourselves, what does it mean to you to be loser, to be Christ loser? Because for me, it means to be winner. If I will give another cheek to people who strike my first, I will feel, yeah, I'm good. I'm really following Jesus. And this is easy. It's more difficult when someone will come asking me for something and I will give to him or her and I will start to thinking when they will give me back. It's already two months. It's already two years. And they stop to see me and they don't visit me anymore when they will give me back. I remember, of course, I will talk about Papua New Guinea. For I remember when I came and one of the uh, priests, he said to me, if you want to give something to people, they will ask you to borrow and then they will say that they will give you back. If you are expecting that they will give you back, don't give. If you are ready that they will not give you back, you can give. But this is just the first step because it means that when I want to receive back something, I will not give? No. This is still not Christian way. I like this, what Jesus said about giving. Um, if you are giving, they will give you back. If you are, uh, I have to find it. And if uh, <laughs> sinners doing the same, I will not say, I will not find it right now. But brothers and sisters, if you will be a good giver, you will receive a lot more. This is about if you are expecting that people will be good for you, first you have to be, for, uh, you have to be good for others. And I have an example from the last Thursday. Last Thursday, I was on the ride along with the officers from sheriff office. And you know, it's always good to observing when they stop some drivers, how drivers are acting, what they will say, what they will do. And if driver, and remember this when the police will stop you, if driver, it's easy. If driver will say, oh, I'm sorry, officer, I know. I don't know what I did, but I know that I'm wrong. Believe me, 100%. It will be not ticket. It will be just warning. But if you will start to, why you stop me? 
What, what are you doing? You are always doing bad, you know. For sure, will be a fat ticket. This is, the, this is the, just the example with the officers, but this has happened to every, every time to us. If you are coming home and you are tired and you see your spouse and you will say, don't even stand. No, today is my not really good day. I don't want to talk. Believe me, it will be fight. And you know this. But if you will come to home and say, hi, honey, good to see you. Totally different beginning. If you want to receive from people good things, first you give them. If you, if you want to be a winner in the Christian way, so many times you have to put your proud away from you. You have to be the last one. You have to say to yourself, doesn't matter that I have a right. It's better for peace that I will not open my mouth. Only in this way, when you are giving good, you will receiving same from people. And you will be not a loser. You will be a winner, God's winner. Amen.